Hello my young moustache padawans, how are you all doing today? Today I am here with How To Officer, Battlefront 2 complete and updated class guide. Before anything else I would like to ask you guys to drop a like and to subscribe if you are new here because the moustache is growing thanks to all of you and I want to grow it even more. Now let's get into the video. Moustache. First, let's talk about abilities, star cards and weapons. The first officer ability is the flash grenade. The officer throws a flash grenade that needs to be triggered. The flash grenade, when triggered, separates in several pieces and flashes our enemies. Up until now, the flash grenade used to impair movement too, but not anymore, since it was nerfed two patches ago. It's still pretty good though. The second officer ability is Battle Command, and it basically gives 100 extra HP to every single teammate in front of you for around 5 seconds and then starts to dissipate. Last but not least, we have the officer turret. The officer places a turret which focuses any player that gets within its line of fire. When an officer is close to the turret, it regenerates the turret HP. Now let's talk about star cards. The first star card I use is Bounty Hunter, which basically awards the officer when maxed out 20% more battle points for every action he performs. It's a star card I use on every battle points free class build in order to get reinforcements and heroes faster. The second star card is a personal choice, since there are several good ones and situational different star cards. I suggest you choose a star card related to the battle command ability since it might change what the ability does, but also applies the buff to yourself. I personally like to run with the improved barrel command which basically applies the HP buff to yourself as well. But keep in mind that the one that refreshes abilities faster is also very good, especially if you are a team player. When it comes to the last star card I think the best one is without a doubt Disruptor. No doubt that a well placed turret can help you a lot, but this Disruptor is in my opinion a much better choice and I always run with it and so should you. Now let's focus on weapons. One of the best officer weapons in my opinion is the Blurg with the improved cooling and explosive shot mods. But, two patches ago, the Blurg's damage was nerfed. Although it's still pretty good, in my opinion, the best officer weapon now is for sure the SE44C, with the improved cooling and rapid fire mods. With this mod, the weapon can be fired extremely fast and you can own the battlefront with it if you know what you're doing. Now, let's talk about health, movement and basics. The officer class has a base 150 HP and it can always regenerate its maximum value. If using the improved barrel command star card, you can buff yourself up to 250 HP. As every other free class, the officer should always try to use objects as cover. Never stop, always maintain movement while alternating the use of abilities and shooting with running, dodging and jumping. If you need some extra tips on these basics just check my Blaster 101 guide which basically teaches about all the common mechanics to every Blaster user, be it a free battle point class, a reinforcement or a hero. DSE 44C with the rapid fire mod can now be fired at incredible speed. You can do this in two different ways, you can tap the shooting button as fast as you want or you can just hold the button down. The difference is that if you hold it instead of tapping, you will shoot slightly faster and also get a little bit more of spread and recoil. So try both options in different moments and situations and use it the way you prefer to use. How to use Flash Grenade You can use it as an opener attack and then shoot at your blinding and health weakened target until you finish him off. You can use it to blind an enemy and run from danger or deal with him later. You can use it as a wall hack or as a scanner, since any target hit by it is visible for you even behind cover. 
you can use it as a finisher finishing off any weakened target. You can also use it both as an opener to one target and as a finisher to another target if they are standing on the same spot, so that you can take more than one enemy at the same time. How to use improved battle command. You can use it to get some free battle points both on the beginning of the map or at any other given time. Keep in mind that any kills that your fellow comrades nail while buffed by your ability will award you some kill assist points. You can use it preventively to prevent yourself or teammates in front of you from losing base HP before entering a battle or at a probable place for a battle or encounter to occur. You can use it reactively to prevent your teammates in front of you from dying and being able to survive a certain encounter or situation. How to use Disruptor You can use it on a 1v1 or a 1v2 situation fight to disrupt enemy weapons in front of you and get the jump on them finishing them off before they can shoot back again. You can use it to disrupt grenades about to explode in front of you. You can use it against several enemies at the same time whether to kill as many as possible before you die or even to run and get to cover before they can shoot back. How to combo against multiple enemies While fighting more than two enemies the officer class needs to combine his abilities. First you disrupt your enemies. Then you throw and activate your flash grenade. After this, you shoot at all the weakened targets. Sometimes you might be able to survive and kill up to 5 enemies if they are all near each other. Keep in mind that facing several enemies is very situational and might not work every time, but usually, even if you die you can take at least 1 or 2 enemies with you. Now one last tip. Do not be afraid to face blaster heroes, with the disruptor you can easily 1v1 almost any blaster hero or at least grind more than half of his HP before he can shoot back at you. Keep in mind that the officer is a very good and unique class but it excels when playing with your team, so try to be a team player. For more positioning and aiming tips check my blaster 101 guide. The link will be in the description and it will pop up at the end of this video. Guys I hope you enjoyed this guide and I really hope it helped you all out. If I forgot to talk about anything or if you have any additional doubts just let me know in the comment section down below and I will answer them as soon as possible to the best of my knowledge. Don't forget to follow me on Twitch and on Twitter, join me on Facebook and on Discord, the links will be in the description. Don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe. Tuga signing out and may the moustache be with you, always.